Hi guys, on the ground in uh, Taipei. Uh, recently I did a uh, video where I was talking about the uh, engine surge or stall. And somebody asked me if we could move the electronic checklist to any of the other displays rather than the other, the lower one. So I'll show you what we can do. Turn this around. So the normal checklist appears here, normally the electronic checklist. And we select it here, checklist, there. I'll select it and see what happens. I'll push it and there it appears. There's the electronic checklist. So on the lower display normally. Now, if we wanted to do, say for example, we wanted to talk about uh, some more function and we wanted to use this page to show, say, the engine page, the yeah, engine page, which I would select. If I push that, it goes to the engine page. I've shown you that before. Now uh, we can have that engine page on here. So the way we do that is, if I go back to the status, the way we do that is right in, R inboard is right inboard, L inboard is left inboard. And these two make you select, this is the inboard display, the nav display. It's inboard as in inboard to the center light of the airplane. So it's an inboard display. This would be called the outboard display, but we just call it the primary flight display or PFD. So the inboard display on the captain's side is that one. And that's the primary flight display. You notice that the primary flight display is very important and it even has a selection here where the inboard display can be selected to the primary flight display. So if the primary flight display, this one, failed, I could select PFD on there and look what happens. If that failed like that, I would end up with the primary flight display on there because it's the most important. It has your speed, it has your attitude, very important. It has your altitude, it has your rate of descent, and it has your heading and track on the bottom here. It also has your Q&H altimeter setting. It also has your ILS and flight director bars. You can select and tune here. ILS will appear here in the indication. So very important display. That's why if it failed, it will automatically switch to there. So that you always have that. The nap display is secondary to having that. Okay, so let's have a look here. Over here, it's got multi-function display. Multi-function display just means we can select different things here, left inboard or there, and we can select right there, for example, and then it becomes multi-function. I can select status, and the status will come up there. I can select fuel, the fuel will come up there. Electrics, electrics will come up there instead of the lower display. So I'll return it to nav and back to multi-function. So that's the normal display. If I wanted to as well, I could have the lower display, this one, left inboard, for example, and then select elect, and that would appear on the captain side. So the captain could do the same things as well using that display. So we can have that showing those things, and then we can go back to the engine page here while we deal with something on the engine. We can put the electronic checklist on here or there. So I could go up here go right inboard, select the checklist, there's the electronic checklist, leaving this on the engine page. So if we had an engine problem, we could be looking at that and looking at that, but having the electronic checklist on there and it will still work. At the same time, we can have the flight control page over there or any other page. So we could have that page there, but have that upper display showing part of the engine instruments, the lower showing engine instruments. This one having the electronic checklist, but the PFD always remains in every case because that's the most important display to use. So that's what we have. So that's all done on this. MFD means multifunction. So multifunction, if I select it there, it means I can use any of the other pages and they'll appear on there. So to go back to there, I just do that. It gives me back the nav display, which is the default, is the nav display. And then lower display is that one, which is that. So now if I go back to there, the checklist is back to where we normally use it on the lower display. But as I say, we can select anything on these displays. But the most important one is always the primary flight display. That's the one that we have to select and have all the time. That fails, automatically this becomes the primary flight display. I'll do it again, or we can select it ourselves, look here. So let's say that failed. 
disappears. We immediately have that on there. And that's that. That's about it. Okay. Later, on the ground in Taipei, heading towards the typhoon in Hong Kong. Later.